Hey, welcome to Toast Off Silver Stoner Tube. So we just going to act like Hugh Hefner ain't passed away? All right? I ain't hear no one talking about it. I ain't seen no one talking about it. But yes, Hugh Hefner passed away at age 91, all right? The legendary compound owner. You know, uh, not many people said anything about him doing it, but uh, people was on R. Kelly's case. But like I said, R. Kelly's a known pedophile, so uh, or he's a known, well, that's his... That's his legacy, okay? Or that's a part of his legacy. But Hugh Hefner, we we know for the most part he waited till the girls were, you know, of age and, and you know, they um man, he had them running all over the place. Now, I'm sure Hugh Hefner lived a very long, fulfilled life because check it out, he stayed with a whole bunch of chicks. All right. And Hugh Hefner, he's one of them niggas that's like, yo, have you ever have you ever just watched TV and been like Seeing someone on TV and be like, damn, this motherfucker been an old nigga my whole life, right? He was having this like that for me, okay? I was born in 93, and bro was in like his late 60s, like getting ready to turn 70 something. So, he was having it. Uh, I know that you enjoyed your life. You seem like a happy dude. You lived to almost 100. You were surrounded by beautiful women at all times. You had multiple girlfriends, polygamy. At his finest. All right. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Hugh Hefner passed away, dog. Age 91. But like I said, I mean, it's it's no reason to really cry because, like I said, bro, he's been an old nigga my whole life. All right. I'm gone.